He was an A-list Academy Award nominated actor and Golden Globe winner. He's appeared in more than 70 film and television credits. And odds are, he's part of your Christmas celebration every single year, as the lovable cousin Eddie in the National Lampoon's vacation films. There's one more thing. He just might be out of his goddamned mind. Or is he? The Hollywood glitz and glamour lifestyle came to a screeching halt for Randy Quaid and his wife Evie in September of 2009. Now, the couple made national headlines when they were arrested for defrauding an innkeeper, conspiracy, and burglary. It seems the Quaids had skipped out on a $10,000 hotel bill in Santa Barbara. In September of 2010, the Quaids were arrested again, this time for residual burglary and squatting. It seems Randy and his wife Evie broke into a home in Montecito, California that was at the time deserted. The Quaids reportedly owned the home almost a decade before. This time, when Randy was released from jail, he and his wife went on the run, seeking refuge in Canada. Randy began screaming to the high heavens to any media source that would listen. Randy seemed very scared, and he said he was on the run from Hollywood Star Whackers. Randy claimed the same Hollywood Star Whackers killed Heath Ledger, David Carradine, set up actor Robert Blake, and now may be targeting Mel Gibson, Lindsay Lohan, and Britney Spears. Quaid claimed the Star Whackers had seized all of his money and were trying to make him homeless and hungry on the streets. He claimed he was being racketeered upon. The Quaids claimed they were being hunted, stalked. They had been living in cars and in RV homes. The press began calling Randy paranoid and delusional. But was he? Was someone really trying to take Randy out? Let's take a quick look at one of his interviews. For the past 20 years, my wife, Evie, and I have been the victims of criminal activities perpetrated by a small network of individuals who are out to destroy us personally, professionally, and financially. This network of individuals is manipulating the banking system and the criminal justice system for the purposes of sabotaging our credit and our credibility. Despite several private investigators coming onto the case to take a look at it, no real evidence was found to substantiate Quaid's claims. Sadly, Randy hasn't done much acting since around 2010. He and his wife moved away from Hollywood, now calling Vermont a permanent home. Randy mostly seems to make very strange YouTube videos with political messages. With a wild man beard and ranting content, it's hard to know. Was Randy pushed over the edge? As of late, he's made claims he may run for governor of California. Are the Hollywood Star Whackers real? Has Randy had a breakdown? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. And as always, follow Quick Note Conspiracies on YouTube and Facebook. Thanks, guys. Until next time.